where these particular monsters live that is different from all the others. What can it be? Let's see. A very special day, in fact, when the streets are filled with lights, the air is filled with music, 
and the whole town gets super excited. Yes, once a year in Cutesville, it's, what do you think? Let's see. Present day, when everyone gives a lovely someone something lovely to show how special they are. It's pretty much the best day ever. So why does this monster look so worried? What do you guys think? Hmm, let's see. Well, this year, Love Monster wanted to give a certain someone something perfect. The most perfect present in the world. But finding such a thing is not easy. Hmm, it was time to think very hard. And to go shopping. And oh, the shops were full of hundreds of wonderful, shiny, full things. Look at that. Love Monster was sure he had come to the right place. But as it turned out, wonderful, shiny, full things can be expensive. Very expensive indeed. There was, there just wasn't enough in his savings up jar. Oh dear, poor monster. What's he gonna do now? What was he going to do? It was almost present day and there was only one thing worse than a not perfect present. And that was no present at all. Love Monster worried all the way home. He had nothing, nothing to show his perfect monster how much he cared. Oh, what can he do instead of buying something? Hmm, what do you guys think? But that was when it hit him. Boink, the perfect things to make and do for that special someone. Ooh, perhaps he had indeed everything he needed. He had paints and glitter, he had some wood and glue, and most important of all, he had an idea. There was a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. He worked all night until the sun came up. And when present day arrived, so did the most perfect monster in the world. And phew, Love Monster did have something to give, something to be very proud of. You see, Sometimes the most perfect present doesn't have to cost very much to mean absolutely everything. The end. Yay! All right, friends, are you ready for our craft? All right, let's go. Hey guys, so for this craft, we're gonna be making a love monster puppet. And what you're gonna need is a paper lunch bag. It can be white or it can be brown. White is better because um, it lends itself to be able to be colored better by any color. Brown, you can still color it, but um, it doesn't show up as brightly as the white does. Um, but brown will work as well. You'll also need this love monster template. I will put a link in the description box of the uh, Google Drive folder where you can get this template and other templates from past crafts as well. Glue stick, scissors, and markers, crayons, color pencils, whatever you're gonna be using um, as a coloring element. I'm using a combination of um, marker and crayon. Um, typically, Love Monster is red, so that's why I got my red crayon that I'll be working with. And then he has a couple of details in black and blue, and I'll be using marker for that in Sharpie. Um, just remember that if you use markers to color, be very careful because the ink doesn't dry right away. So you will get mar uh, marker ink all over your hands. So I tend to either... For the black details, which aren't that many, I'm going to use a Sharpie because it dries faster. Um, there's a smaller detail for the heart. I'm going to use blue and that's it. And then for the rest of the body, I'm going to be using red crayon because it doesn't transfer the way that marker does. All right, my friends, scissors, 
And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to color our bag. And like I said before, I'm going to be using a uh, red crayon because Love Monster is typically red. But you could use any color you wanted to. You can make your Love Monster orange, blue, green, black, or rainbow. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use red. Um, I'm going to speed this process up because it's going to take a little bit. If you need uh, to pause, go ahead and hit pause on the video. And when you're ready to move on to the next step, Go ahead and hit play again. All right, guys. So I colored both sides of my bag. You don't have to. Um, but I just like it to be able to be seen from both sides. So I did. You don't have to color both sides if you don't want to. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to color our um, Love Monster parts, which is its ears, its eyebrows, its mouth, heart, eyes, and teeth. Teeth I'm going to leave white. Ears I'm going to do red. Mouth, eyebrows, and pupils of the eyes I'm going to do black. And then my heart I'm going to do blue because um, his heart is blue. Like I said, you don't have to do it that way. You can do it however you like and you want your monster to look like. So let's go ahead and then color in those details now. guys now we're going to cut this stuff out so let's go ahead and do that if you need to take a break go ahead and hit pause and then hit play when you're ready to move on to the next step but now we're going to cut all these pieces out and then we're going to paste them onto our bag Right, guys so um I went ahead and cut everything out and I also colored the back of my ears um because I want them to when I glue them in the back that you can see that they're red on the other side too so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue all our little elements onto our puppet and what we're going to do first is we're going to glue the eyes and those are going to be right here in the center so we're going to go ahead and I want to see how I want to put these eyes about around that so I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the back of my eyes. Make sure you put a nice thick layer so that they stick really well and they don't fall off. So that looks like it's good. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Put a nice big thick layer that one right there and remember guys what you could also do is you don't have to color it you could um do like a collage and do like tissue paper or pom-poms or gemstones or just throw a bunch of stuff on it and make like a like a mosaic or a collage of it instead of with different materials different types you know yarns papers uh, gemstones and all that kind of stuff in all different types of materials and the colors that you want to do and just stick them on there versus coloring um that's another way of doing this as well and i'll show you in an, another example i did of a, a puppet a year prior which i used tissue paper instead of um, crayon to color him and that way you can kind of see the difference so let's go ahead and put his eyebrows on i'm going to make them friendly so i'm going to have them going upward and not downward in a mad expression go ahead and put that on and then I'm going to glue his heart I'm going to put it right here put some glue on the back there you go enough so that it doesn't fall off I'll put it right here 
Next, I'm gonna do his ears and I'm gonna glue those on the back just like so. I think I'll put them a little like this leaning on the versus this straight up. I'll just do them kind of, you know, like a sideway lean this way instead of doing them straight up like that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue onto my edge of where I'm going to glue them. So I'm going to put it right on the tip. Make sure I have a nice thick layer so they stay on. And I'm going to glue them just like so. And then I'll do it with the other side as well. Kind of tilt them like this so they're not straight up. And I'll put some glue on this ear. A nice thick layer. Go ahead and glue that on. Just like so. So there is his ears. And that's what it looks like in the back. They're a little tilted. Not straight up, but that's okay. If you want them straight up, you can do them straight up. And then next, what we're going to do is we're going to glue his teeth. And I'm going to glue them right to the back of this mouth. And I'm going to glue them upward. So I'm going to put just a little bit of glue on the edge of the teeth just like so and I'm gonna glue it right here I'm not gonna worry too much about the glue because I know that that'll dry clear so no problem there we'll glue the next tooth and I'll put that right there right on the edge just like that then I'm gonna glue on his next tooth just like so, kind of put those in a good direction. I'll do his next tooth and so on with the rest of the teeth. Make sure we got a nice little thick layer of glue so our tooth doesn't come off. Stick it on to the next one. Like that. And then we'll do our other tooth, just like so, and then we'll glue that right in the back, just like so. So there are his teeth, once I got them, I will want them, just like that. Then I'm going to put glue right here on the back of the mouth because I'm actually you know we're gonna want to put glue right here on the edge it's just this edge and this edge because the mouth is going to be hanging slightly off his jaw or slightly off the bag so we don't want to put glue on the whole entire jaw otherwise we're going to glue the puppet's mouth shut so we just want to put some right here and right here on those edges so let's go ahead and put some there and a little chunk over here Just like so. Nice little chunk of glue on there, if I can get it on there. There I go. Okay. And so I'm going to put some pressure right here on the edges. That's where I want it. Just like that. And so now our puppet can still talk without its mouth being sealed. Because if you put it all the way across like so, it'll seal your mouth shut. Right, so there is our puppet. You can put your hand in, you can make it talk, just like so. And let me show you guys examples from years prior. Here's the one I did a couple years ago with tissue paper. So instead of coloring it, I glued different colored red tissue paper on the bag and I used a brown bag. I didn't do the back on this one, but here's another way. We can use tissue paper squares and just cover that in red instead um, of coloring it. This one's crayon. And then there's a Love Monster character that is Love Monster's friend that looks a little bit like this. So another year, I made Love Monster's friend instead.
So these are different examples of love monster puppets you can make and the series is in the previous video it's in the previous clip um, that I read and the author is Rachel Bright. All right my friends I hope you enjoyed this craft if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up. A new craft video will be coming up every Saturday at two o'clock so if you guys want to know when these videos come up make sure to hit the notification bell and hit all notifications to so that you know when our next video is coming up. All right, guys, take care. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.